As Malaysia intensifies its efforts to develop the electric vehicle EV industry, software-defined vehicles or SDVs are gaining traction in the global automotive sector. Reporting from the Red Hat Summit in Denver, Colorado, Farhana Shea explores the potential of SDVs in shaping the cars of the future. Rapid technological advancement and the quest for customizable vehicles have propelled the rise of software-defined vehicles. Here at Red Hat Summit, we explore how SDVs are transforming the automotive sector, providing greater performance and better user experience. Uh, Software-defined vehicles allow us to make the car better as time goes on. So the day that you take the car from delivery uh, to 10 days later, your car gets better. From 10 to 100 days, it even gets better then. So we release new features as time goes on. Uh, we uh, do bug fixes to make the user experience better. And overall, the, the, the customer experience gets better as time goes on. Um, because the, there's so much software in the car, we're able to, um, to make changes, um, make additions, subtractions when necessary um, to provide a better user experience. So your, your vehicle will always get better as time goes on. Jeremy emphasized that when establishing the foundations of software-defined vehicles, having software development skills is more crucial than having a background in the automotive industry. If you're a great software developer, you're coming out of school as a software developer, um, uh, you have a certain set of skills that, uh, that as long as we're adopting modern software development practices make you be able to contribute from day one. If you, uh, if you are a C++ coder or a Java coder, um, you've got an opportunity now in automotive that maybe you didn't have before. Um, you know, the, the, the sort of software mindset of, of, um, of continuous integration, continuous testing, um, is, a, is something that we utilize every day. And so that, that set of skills is necessary in an, in an EV company um, where it wasn't before uh, all, all the time in traditional company. The, the future is um, being able to uh, diagnose issues before they are experienced by a customer and having a fix out there before the customer even knows that there's something there. Um, there's lots of data analysis. Um, the, the future is experiences where, um, where a vehicle could, um, could interact with a customer in the way that they are feeling or the way that they want to interact with, with, uh, with the vehicle. And that could be very different from driver to driver. Um, so, so the future of a software-defined vehicle is, is it's much more of a personal interaction um, than has ever been done before.